welcome back to GP's Odds and Ends. Jessica here. That is me. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a couple of things that I want to go over before I get into uh, like all the savings challenges that I want to do today. So uh, I do need to cash stuff in my wallet. I don't think I have any singles or change in there, but I will double check. I need to, uh, we're going to do the holiday randomizer, the odd and even, and I'm still in the process of getting ready for my trip. So, uh, FYI, my shop will be closed for physical items the first two weeks of October. So make sure if you want anything prior to that, that you get that in. And speaking of the Etsy shop as well, I am going to start putting some uh, of the scratch offs on sale to kind of, I, there's some scratch offs that I have, some of my older ones, the ones that I kind of first came out with that um, I have quite a lot of inventory in. So in order to kind of make room to bring new scratch-offs out to you, I want to get rid of the older stuff. So I have two scratch-offs currently that are in a section listed as retiring. I believe that they also put them in a section called on sale as soon as I put the like the sale discount. Um, but it's going to be the Santa and the Snowflake. Um, so the Santa one is scratch off on this side, color and save the ornaments on that side. And then the Snowflake, scratch and save on this side, and then save the amount in each section of the Snowflake there. So these are going to be on sale for 40% off um, Etsy will only allow me to do the sale for one month. So currently the sale is going until October 22nd, um, but 40% off until then. And if I'm not sold out, I'll probably restart um, the sale for these two and maybe add something else to it, whatever it is that I want to move at that point. <laughs> but I thought that these would be good options. They are a couple of my uh, oldest challenges uh, kind of in my stock uh, or inventory, I guess, if you will. Um, so I thought that they would be good, but they're also a couple of the ones that I have like the most inventory in. So, you know, I kind of just want to make room for new items to come out in um, the future. So I just, I don't have a lot of room to work with where I am. So um, just an effort to kind of move these. But with the winter coming up and Christmas and everything, I thought that these would be good options for that as well. So hopefully you all enjoy that. So go check out my Etsy shop. The link is down below for you. Um, we will get into, let me, I'm going to place you on hold. I'm going to, I'm going to pause the video for a moment and grab my wallet and see if I need to get any change out of there. Okay. So I haven't really been doing like the cash stuffing of my wallet on camera with all of you, but, um, I wanted to just, um, bring it out. I don't have any change or singles in here. Uh, currently I did go out recently with my mom and used, I treated her to dinner and used the money that I had in my dining out. Oh, and by the way, this is a hundred dollars. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Let's just put that in there for you. So um, I don't have anything in dining out. I'm going to come back to that one because I just want to see how much I have in some of the other 20, 30, 40, 50. Um, oops, there's a random 10 in there. 20, 30, 40, 50. That's going to be 70. I'm going to do both of the 20. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. Um, I do, I haven't gone grocery shopping in a little while, which is why there was still some money in here, but, um, I probably will need to go 
soon. So probably not going to get a whole lot just because we probably won't want to have a whole lot of fresh food in the house before we go away, but we'll see. Shopping has 20, 30, 40. I'm going to leave that alone. We're going to keep that at that amount for now. Entertainment should have 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I don't need any more in there just yet. It's not an envelope I pull from very often because <laughs> I've had 50 in there forever. <laughs> I We haven't really been going out and doing a whole lot of stuff just because we're getting ready for the trip. So we're saving our money for that. Self-care has 20, 30, 40. I'm going to add... Uh, 10 so we have 50 so that's in, that, in an effort to get ready for my next hair appointment which won't be until the end of October my Jessica envelope has 10 20 30 so I'll just add another 10 I like to add to that every now and again just so if I need to if there's anything miscellaneous or I need to like help one of these envelopes along I can. So 10, 20, 30, 40. I think the rest of this is going to go into the dining out. I don't have any plans. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put 30 in there and I'm going to add the other 10 to groceries so I have an even 100 in groceries because I had 90. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 in there now. That's better. Okay. All right. So wallet is finished. And since I have no change, that means no coin challenge today, uh, which I mean, it is what it is. I do, however, want to update my CD ladder um, tracker. This CD ladder tracker kit comes from Debt Free Jesse. She has an Etsy shop, Etsy shop and YouTube channel. So go check her out. Um, but basically I, I did put in the money for September's CD and I did 100. So let me grab a good color here. So there was zero in there. We deposited or I deposited 100. So I have a balance of 100 and that means I can do two and a half of the little CDs here. I don't know why I decided, well, yeah, no, I started at the bottom because it's, uh, the 20% is down here. I was going to say you could probably start at the top, but the top, the ladder is 100. So that doesn't really make sense. So I can do two and a half of the CDs and we're getting close to like starting this over in January. So that's kind of exciting to have like a whole year's worth of CDs at this point. So when January rolls around, so basically let me back up a little bit because I didn't really explain why or what I'm doing with this. Um, I this kit comes from Debt Free Jesse, but I saw it mostly um, described by Tracy over at Golden Girl Budgets because she does this method as well. She's saving for emergency um, purposes. So, for instance, whatever she puts into like January or February, when that month rolls around, if she needs to use it for some sort of an emergency, at that time she can pull the money out when it matures. But she has that a money available to her every month. So if something doesn't happen in February, but something happens in March, she can pull it from March and then kind of uh, start over. So um, I really liked that idea, although I'm not really doing it for like an emergency kind of um, savings. I want this to more be for my retirement. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm older. I, <laughs> I don't know if I've really said my age a whole lot, but I'm 47 years old. So I'm getting to kind of the point where, um, I want to set myself up for a, you know, a good future, a good retirement and, and whatnot. So this is in an effort to set myself up for my future. 
So um, my hope is to get each one of these up to 1,000. Um, but I'm starting off, of course, with the 100. So when January rolls around again, I will add to that um, to that CD. I, I, might, I don't want to have to pull from it. I do have a separate emergency uh, savings set up, so I may add to that again starting next year, um, maybe through the odd and even uh, challenge and get that up to a thousand. Right now it's at 500 and I do have it in a high yield savings account. So it's also accruing interest, um, which is nice. But um, yeah, this is, this is an, an, an effort to set myself up for retirement. So I always have that year's worth of, um, you know, monthly savings that I can pull from if I need to. So, in you know, and this is in in addition to like my 401k or um, other, you know, like things that I have available as well. So, um, so also I do have the CD, um, like I have a binder in here set up for the CDs. And let me pull out a 100. Now the money that, and, and actually let, I should pull it from here because I do, I put $50 into a buffer every um, paycheck. And if I don't use that, and I actually have 150 because I put, um, I had three paychecks. So um, we'll leave the 50 in there. But if I don't use anything from that buffer, if like nothing goes up, then that's the money that is going into the CD. So that's why it's always like 100 for right now. So I'm just going to take the 50s out of there. We'll put the 100 into the CD ladder binder. And currently with all of the CDs combined, I am now at five. 500 and this placeholder comes from sincerely roxy designs so 500 600 700 750 770 790 so that's kind of nice i mean i still have quite a few years that i'm going to be working but i want to start thinking about this now you know, I don't want to wait until I'm getting ready to ret to retire to have to worry about how I'm going to live or, you know, where the money is going to come from, <laughs> if that makes sense. All right. So that is all set. I'm going to get set up for odd and even next. And we'll just keep on plugging away. <laughs> all right. I'll be right back. So I have... I have some extra money to work with this time. I've I've been talking about uh, like work. I got um, I had a magic month in August. I've been working overtime like crazy, uh, so <laughs> I'm quite tired from all of that. But I I, I don't know if I'm going to continue to work uh, overtime. Um, I'm I'm getting a little burnt out from it. So we'll we'll see how long I keep doing that. But. Um, you know, it's it's been nice having the extra money. Let me zoom you in a little bit so you can see things a tad better. I want to put those kind of at the top of the screen for you. Move this stuff so I have even, odd. So the way that I do this, I just wrote these on a scrap piece of paper. I pull out two priority envelopes. So I always pull debt. And I don't know how much I have in here currently, but this is going to go towards... Um, the pay, like the debt payment that I make for the end of September. And then right now I'm trying to save for my trip. So I pulled out vacation. Um, from this method, I was able to get my emergency binder up to 500. I was able to get um, my car insurance envelope up, up to 500. And actually, I will need to stuff a little bit extra uh, into that before the end of the... Um, before before it renews, it's, it is going to be going up a little bit, but not so much that I want to try to look for another company just yet. So... Um, Basically, 
So debt will be even this time. Odd will be vacation. I have 100, I mean, sorry, $200 and some 20s in here to work with. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. So you could use any denomination you want. You can use fives, you can use ones. Um, you can do a mix of denominations like I'm doing uh, today. But basically, I'm going to roll a dice. If it lands on a one, three, or five, it's going to go into a vacation. If it lands on a two, four, or six, it's going to go into debt for even. So I'm just going to hold the money, roll the dice, and we will see what happens. <laughs> just want to give myself a little bit of room here to roll the dice. So that is a five to start. So that is going into add. I'm going to start with the twenties, uh, six. So that goes into even two. So another one for even five. So another one for odd four. So that's even. And now we're on to the tens. It's kind of a quick method, but it's, it's fun to just kind of see where the money goes. Four, so another one for even. Four, so even. Oops, three for odd. One for odd. Five. <laughs> I don't know which one's going to be the big winner today. Six, so even. <laughs> it seems to be getting distributed pretty evenly. <laughs> Four, so even. That's a two, so even, and we have one ten left, three for odd. So that's fun. All right, so I'm going to start with the debt envelope. So debt today is getting 20, 40, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, which means that debt is the winner just by $10. Let me zoom you out a little, sorry. All right. So debt now has, let's see, it had 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 30, 40, 50. So 150 and it's getting another 110. So debt is up to 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170. 180, 90, 200, and 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So 260, so that's a nice amount. Okay, and then that means vacation is getting, what, 90? 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And vacation currently has 120, so this will have 210 if I'm not mistaken. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 150, 160, 70, 80, 90, 200, and 10. which is nice because I, I don't know if I'm really going to travel with a whole lot of money. I'm probably, I might put, um, well, I have 500 of what I've saved so far for vacation in the high yield savings account. And um, I do want to travel with a, you know, a bit of cash, but I, I don't, I don't want to have a huge amount of cash. So I will probably put it in the bank and use my card, I guess. I don't know. Um, or a credit card. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, all right, so let's put this one away. And all right, so next up is going to be the holiday randomizer. So I'm going to get all of everything that I need for that. So I have everything that I need for the holiday randomizer. I'm just going to shuffle these cards a little bit. So the cards come from Mischief Managed Budgets, uh, Mischief Budgets on Etsy. She has a ton of cute sets and I 
just I love, love, love doing this. this is probably one of my favorite challenges to to do. I just think it's so much fun. So we have those shuffled up a bit. I'm going to put those there. I need to randomize the randomizer and I have $125 uh, to work with. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 75, 85, 95, 100, and 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 125. And hopefully I don't run out of singles, but I do have my little stash o cash, as I like to call it, <laughs> with some extra money in it in case, because I don't like doing IOUs. I don't. Sorry, I don't. <laughs> I have IOU cards, but I don't care. It's my game, my money. You know the drill. All right. So let's see. Gifts. We'll start with gifts. That's probably an envelope that's always in the mix because you never know when you're going to need a gift. So gifts is going to be five. Let's see. Uh, Thanksgiving is going to be four. Christmas I'm going to double up on, so Christmas will be number two, and six, and then we have, I think this might be the last time I do New Year's, I think I wanted to get it up to two or 250, let me see where we're at, 100, 150, 170, 180, 185, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Let's at least get it to 200. I don't think I'll need more than that. We don't really go anywhere for new year's usually, but we'll see. New year's will be number one, which means Valentine's, oops, Valentine's will be number three. Okay, so I have my dice, I have my scratch token. We're gonna put that, hopefully you can see it okay. Let's put it like there. <laughs> okay. There. Maybe you can see all of that a little bit better now. All right. So basically what's going to happen is I'm going to roll a dice. I just use one dice. That's why I only do one through six on here. Or you can do one through 12 and use two dice or a 12 sided dice would be better because if you use two dice, you're never going to roll a one. Uh, so whatever this lands on designates the envelope that it's going to go into and then the card will designate the amount that goes into that envelope so we have new years we're starting off with and new years is going to get four one two three and four whoops that's a five four gifts and gifts is getting a scratch card and these are these cute little seagulls are joke cards why do owls always get invited to parties because they're a hoot oh i hope i got do i do i did i get that one right because they're a hoot <laughs> wouldn't that be funny if i got it right <laughs> <laughs> why do owls always get invited to parties because they're a hoot <laughs> yay <laughs> so that's 10 going into gifts uh, I can't I would I'll never be able to do that again that is hilarious oh my god Three for Valentine's. Good, because I think Valentine's kind of needs some. 
So Valentine's is getting a scratch card. I love the turtle scratch cards. They're so pretty. You know me. If I see turtles, I have to have it. If you know of any shops that have turtle items uh, for the savings challenges and stuff, feel free to let me know in the comments because I love getting them. So that's $1 going into Valentine's. Not very much, but it is what it is, I guess. Oops. Two for Christmas. Christmas is getting a scratch card. So let's see what kind of symbol topping will be under there. Maybe that looks like basil and tomatoes. Or pepperoni. And you know, you know, I got I got these because I'm a pizza girl, not a taco girl. <laughs> I like tacos, but I like pizza more. And that looks like pepperoni to me, but that's another one going into Christmas. We got some low numbers going today so far. Knock on wood. I'm going to regret saying that Christmas again. Christmas is getting another scratcher. Okay, here's some bigger number. So five, six, seven, and eight. Four for Thanksgiving. Good. Thanksgiving is getting five. And... One again for New Year's. New Year's is getting nine, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And let me see if I can change any of this. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Just so I don't run out of singles too quickly. <laughs> Okay, so next up is Christmas again. Christmas is getting the grumpy little chicken with the coffee, little chick, for $3. And let's see, let me put two back, and I'll take a five. And actually, let me put these fives back, and I'll take the last ten. <laughs> so five for gifts. Gifts is getting 12. It's hard to see in there, but look, it matches my nails. <laughs> I And I, I did recently do my nails. If you can tell from the, um, the color here, it's kind of, you can see more here on my thumb. It's a lighter, brighter yellow, and then the tip is um, more orangey. It's a color changing, mood changing. So heat and... Um, cold make the nail change so you saw my thumb was orange at the tip and now it's more yellow because of the heat and then as it cools down the tip will turn orange again like the rest of them i love mood changers because it's like it's so cool to have kind of something that looks like an ombre with really you know without having to really put much work into it all right, so we had, wait, uh, no, I had to roll, did I have to, yeah, I don't, I think I, no, I had to put the 12 in, I have to put the 12 in, don't I, because I didn't, 5, 10, 11, and 12, okay, and 6, so that's Christmas, Christmas is there. So Christmas is getting another joke card. What do you call a white flamingo? A s I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, they're pink because they eat the shrimp. Um, what do we call a white flamingo? Just a white flamingo? I don't know. 
What do we call a white flamingo? Allergic to shrimp. <laughs> so five, 10, and 11. Let me see if I can get a 20 in here. Yes. 10, 15, 20. Okay. Two for Christmas again. Christmas is getting four. Uh, one, two, three, and four. And I'm actually going to take another single and we'll put in a five. That's what I should have done, but I didn't count it all. Oh, well. Three for Valentine's. Let's see if we can get a little more in there besides just one dollar. Valentine's is getting six. Five and six. Six for Christmas again. Christmas is getting a joke card. What do you give a sick bird? What do you give a sick bird? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I laugh because I can see like the answer. I'm sure it's a little far away for you to be able to read it, but what do you give a sick bird? Tweetment. <laughs> so that's five going into Christmas. <laughs> Too cute. Three, four Valentines again. Good. Valentine's is getting a scratcher, but this is um, the attitude cards, I guess I'll call them. I'm not short. I'm just more down to earth than most people. <laughs> One dollar. <laughs> Valentine's is not feeling the love today. <laughs> see next we have Christmas again Christmas is getting a Care Bear card so that's five and actually let me put a five back and we'll take that ten again oops five for gifts that's getting another joke card what kind of math do snowy owls like snowy owls Math. Ugh. Who likes math? Ugh. What is this? <laughs> what kind of math do snowy owls like? I don't know what snowy has to do with it, but owlgebra. <laughs> That's getting 12, 5, 10, 11, 12, and let's see what I can swap here. Ten, fifteen, twenty, five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We'll do the last ten. All right, so I'm down to some fives and some singles. And let's see, next up is gifts again. Let's see, another scratcher. So that looks like like a pizza with no cheese. <laughs> and I don't know what those are. And then, I don't know, they all look like margarita pizzas to me. I think the only thing I'll never do on a pizza of anchovies is like a hard no. And mushrooms. I don't eat mushrooms at all, so... We don't um, get those on our pizza at all. 
So that's two going into gifts. And one, two, three, four, five. We'll put that and put a five in instead. Okay. Next is gifts again. And see, that looks like another margarita pizza. Basil, tomatoes, cheese. <laughs> And that looks like a big piece of garlic on here. And that's five going into gifts. And let's see, three for Valentine's. Okay. We have another scratcher. We're getting a lot of scratchers today. And that's seven. So five, six, and seven. One for New Year's. This might be the last time we see the New Year's envelope. A, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I'm done trying to guess the toppings. I don't know. <laughs> Oof. That's a 13. Ooh, that's a mushroom. No, thank you. That is definitely a mushroom on that little symbol. So 5, 10, 11, 12, 13. I've got $1 left. Oh, my. <laughs> okay, so that's going into New Year's. All right, so I'm going to, I'm actually going to, I think, put that dollar into the June binder. I think I'm going to break that out and use a little bit of the money from my cash, stash o cash um, as well. I just want to make sure these are all facing up the right way. Okay, I'm just going to put those in there because I'll shuffle next time and let's see what all of the envelope Scott today. Okay, so gifts is getting 20, 35, 41. 20, 35, 41. Good. Which means that gifts has 100, 200, 220, 30, 45, 51, 251, not bad at all. Thanksgiving is only getting five. So I think that is the, uh, the low one for the, for this time. Thanksgiving now has 100, 200, oops, 20, 35, 36, 7, 8, 9. 239. That's not bad though. So that's really just going to go towards our meal. And let's see. Christmas is getting 20, 35, 6, and 7. 37. Ooh. So. Christmas now has 100, 200, 250, 270, 280, 290, 295, 6, 7, 8, 9. 299. We're one dollar away from 300, but I'm not going to put that dollar in here. <laughs> We're going to save it for the June binder. Okay, and let's see. New Year's is getting. 10, 15, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 26. So let's see what that brings me up to. One hundred, one fifty, one seventy, one eighty, one ninety, one ninety five, one hundred, and wait. 
150, no, that's 200, 100, 150, 170, 180, 190, 195, 200, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this envelope's going to go into the back. We'll do that in a moment. Valentine's is getting 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 today. And let's see. Nope. Valentine's now has 50, 100, 10, 15, 25, 26, 7, 8, 9. Wait. 50, 100, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 7, 8, 9, 30. So 130, which is a pretty decent amount. Let's put Valentine, I mean, New Year's in the back, which means next time I think I'll probably, I still have Halloween back here too, because of course I haven't used that money yet. But I think next time I'll start doubling up on Christmas and Thanksgivings so that um, I, you know, I can get as much into those envelopes before those holidays come around. So. All right, I think I'm going to, we're going to pull out the June binder because I really, I really want to get this. Maybe we finish this this week because I am so, so close. Envelope done, 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 done. This one's still going. This one's done, done. And this one's still going. I only have the two envelopes left. <sighs> Oh my goodness. So this would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 20 to finish this one. And then I don't know how much it would take to finish this one, but I do have $1 here. Um, I kind of feel like I want to do, I want to get this one moved along a little bit more. So if I finish all of the fours that are left, I've got one, two, three, four left on here, four times four, that would be 16. I would need to add 15 to this to finish the fours. You know what? I'm going to do it. This is my little stash of cash. <laughs> It's just kind of like extra money. So if I need to add it into something that I didn't budget for or the IOUs or whatever I want to do with it, really. So 10, 15, 16. We're going to finish the fours on here. So four, that's eight, 12, and 16. So that means I have threes twos and then just one one dollar left and we're so close so I think I'll probably bring this out again for the Saturday um, by when I do the Saturday savings challenges and probably Sunday and see if we can't get this finished over the next couple of videos because I kind of, I want to see how much, of course, is in here, first of all. But second of all, um, I want to, I think I want to be able to use this for Aruba money. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. That is what we're going to do. And that's that. <laughs> but thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you all tuning in. And until next time. Bye for now.